Okay, I'm going to go down and take the uh, van down to Town Fair Tire and get the uh, front tires balanced because we got a shimmy between 50 and 60 miles an hour. It's been that way for a long time, so I think it's just the tires are out of balance. There is no problem with the front end. We had everything checked out. Uh, so we're going to uh, do that. And we're going to try to do a driving video, but I don't have a mount here. Um, to, uh, I got the keys in the thing, that's what you're hearing here. Uh, I don't have a mount for a camera, so I probably won't be doing too much of a driving video here. My wife uses this all the time. She's more comfortable in there. She feels cramped in a minivan, but uh, anyways, I want to get the uh, tires balanced anyway, uh, so that we uh, will be good to go here. Uh. The only thing about this van, it always raced ever since we had it. We had it for, we've been driving this, my wife has been driving this for 19 and a half years. Now, how many of you people out there can say, how many people can say that they had a vehicle for 19 and a half years, never had to do any major work? We had to replace the radiator one time, you know? And these people aggravate me to tell me to go junk it because I got a because we got a minivan. We got a minivan because we, we had a good deal on that, and um, it's better on gas. This is about 15 miles to the gallon, uh, stop and go basically. And the minivan gets about 24, 23 to 24 miles to the gallon uh, around the city, you know, around the town and everything. So we're going to go to Town Fair Tire now. This paint is. basically dry. I just didn't want to get any on my um, shoes. All right. I don't like driving like this. Well, we're only going to do a little bit of driving here. And basically, I'm going to put the camera down now because they're working on the power lines up here and I don't want nobody seeing me holding the camera up. I don't like photographing driving like this. Now, I don't know how well you can hear me because road noises and stuff, the camera usually breaks up driving. I'm talking close to the camera, a little loud. The van runs great, it just that it gets about a shimmy, about six, close to 60 miles an hour. And then if you go over that, it clears up. And if you go under that, it clears, it doesn't do it. So. I think it's a tire balance issue, as far as I know. But, you know, there is a little play in the steering box, and that's normal for a vehicle over 200,000 miles, but nothing major. I had my mechanic check it out several times, and everything's fairly tight in there. There's a little, there's a little play in the uh, kingpins, but that's normal for all these miles on it and stuff. All right, I'm going to stop recording now. I'm not going to get do too much. It's too dangerous to do this without a proper camera mount. I'll tell you, this engine is, runs smooth. There's no skips or nothing. I mean, this vehicle is great. So anybody that tells me to junk it, that really upsets me. I'm sorry, but one of my favorite YouTubers, I won't mention any names, but I think you know who you are. You told me to junk it. No way in hell! Yeah, I'm going to Town Fair Tire. Town Fair Tire is good because uh, I can, while I'm waiting, I can walk over to Harbor Freight. Yeah, I know I'm cracking up. All right, we're in New London, and um, Town Fair Tire is just ahead. You probably can't read the sign from here, but um, we got to go past uh, Harbor Freight. 
I don't need anything at Harbor Freight. I've been spending a lot of money there as it is lately. Covers are down about two inches. And they paved the road, they don't bring them up to the same level. Okay. And here we got a bunch of speed bumps. I hate speed bumps. Okay. I could have gone to the parking lot and avoid these damn speed bumps. Some people go like hell. I know a buddy of mine used to drive over them real fast and take a car takes a beating. Here's from Harbor Freight. Hello, Harbor Freight. I'll probably be visiting you soon. There's a new steakhouse there going to be opening. They've been building that all year. Well, it's not open yet though. But our destination is right here. Town Fair Tire. They're going to charge $13.95 a wheel to balance it. Okay, I'm here, and i got to just wait until they take it in. All right, I'm going to take a walk over to Harbor Freight, I guess. I've already been in there the other day. This is going to be the Texas Roadhouse, I believe. It's not open yet. The you know, Pizza Hut house down there has been closed for a few years. I don't know why they didn't use that building instead of building this expensive uh, roadhouse. But anyways, this will go. We got the sun right in the lens here. I'll take a walk in the Harbor Freight. I'm not going to videotape in there though. All right, I just left Harbor Freight. I bought one of them little magnifiers with the little uh, little arms on them, so you can uh, work on small stuff. Not that I'm going to be doing that much. I walk in front of the Texas uh, Roadhouse here, this new place that isn't open yet. There's Town Fair Tire up ahead. From here, it looks like the van hasn't been touched yet, so they didn't take it in. So I'll have to sit in the waiting room, I guess. Looks like it's going to be a nice place. I imagine it'd be expensive. Boy, look at the rocks they got in there. That looks different. They got it in.
I got a Harbor Freight uh, torque wrench I bought last uh, earlier in the year or last year. Okay, I just got back from Town Fair Tire and the problem was not the tire balancing, but the tires were out of round. Nothing wrong with the front end. And they checked it, everything's fine. And uh, alignment's fine. But the tires were out of round and they showed me on the uh, machine. When you rotate it slowly, you can see it. Both front tires were out of round. They didn't check the back because I did not have to have them check that because that was more money. So we had to buy two new tires. Got the lifetime guarantee with the um, road hazard guarantee because of all the damn potholes and everything and manhole covers that are two inches below the surface of the road surface that we're always hitting. So we're good to go and the van is nice and smooth. I haven't been able to put it on the highway yet because um, we're going to uh, a secondary road here. <clears throat> we'll put it on the highway in a few minutes here and we'll see how she does. All right, I'm ready to go up on the highway here shortly. We got one more red light to go through before I get there. And uh, I'm going to find out. I had it up to 50, but that's not, never was a problem anyways. We get it up on the highway and uh, when, we'll see what she does when we hit 60. Hopefully it's going to be all right. The tires were definitely out around really bad. So we're coming up on the highway now. Hopefully my battery holds out on the camera. driving like this. Put this down so nobody can see it. The sun in my eyes, I can't put the hand up to lock it. I get the strobe effect and it really makes me sick to my stomach. Oh man, that's hard. Alright, let's see. Can't see with the sun in my eyes. Can't see the speedometer. Okay. Oh, we're up to 60 and smooth as a Cadillac. Junk it, my ass. That's going to be the name of this video. You got to be kidding me. Oh, yeah. Sixty-five. Well, you're probably wondering what the hell is this old goat doing now? I took and trimmed a little more on this mat. And uh, I'm weighting it down here, see? So that it's siliconed to this carpet on this end. It's silicone to the floor all the way around so the way I figure I'm not going to really remove it if I need to remove it I just pull it up this way it doesn't get under the feet and everything because uh, you know it's siliconed all to the edge so I got all this weight on here holding everything in place so that's the story thanks for watching and it was a pleasure having you ride along with me today.